The Russian Ministry of Defense has reported that Russia has successfully test-fired an RS-24 Yars intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM. As per it, the test was conducted at the Plesik spaceport in the Archangelsk region in the country's north. The Defense Ministry stated, at 11.31 a.m. Moscow time on February 6, a mobile Yars solid propellant intercontinental ballistic missile armed with multiple warheads was test-fired from the Plesik State Testing Spaceport. The warheads arrived at the designated area at the Kura practice range on the Kamachka Peninsula in the Russian Far East. The assignments were accomplished in full. The ministry added, the launch aimed to confirm the advanced missile system's capabilities and flight characteristics. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. currently have no way to stop the Russian RS-24 Yars ICBM. Let's get into the details. Russia started the development of RS-24 Yars ICBM in response to the missile shield that the United States was planning to deploy in Europe. The missile shield could potentially intercept Russian missiles like R-36 and UR-100N, which were developed almost 50 years ago when there was no threat from interception from missile defense systems. The main objective for the development of the RS-24 Yars project was to replace the older missile with a new one that has the ability to defeat present and potential anti-missile systems. The program was kept secret for a long time and the first test was conducted on May 29, 2007. RS-24 was designed by the Moscow Institute of Thermal Technology under the supervision of the Academician of the Russian Agency of Sciences, Yuri Samolinov. The missile uses solid propellant for the first and second stage, whereas solid or liquid propellant can be used for third and fourth stage. The Yars is a modification of the Topol-M missile system. It essentially adds MIRVED, multiple independently targeted vehicle, warheads and decoys to the Topol-M design. The Yars has the ability to alter its trajectory during flight, making it very difficult to intercept. RS-24 Yars has a range of 6,800 miles to 7,500 miles or 11,000 to 12,000 kilometers, so it can reach the American mainland when launched from Russia. It can carry at least three MIRVs with 500 kilotons, six with 150 to 300 kiloton warheads. The missile can reach a top speed of Mach 20 or 6,806 meters per second. It uses inertial guidance with GLONASS and has an accuracy of 150 to 250 meters. The missiles can be launched from silos or road mobile TEL. As per estimates, Russian strategic rocket forces have around 60 mobile and 10 silo-based SR-24 Yars ICBMs deployed. Let's check out the options the U.S. currently has to stop the missile and how each fare. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is a United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency program. Aegis BMD is integrated in U.S. Navy Arleigh Burke class destroyers. Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to reentry. It employs missiles like SM 1, SM 2, or SM 3 missile for target interception. But the problem with Aegis BMD is that it's effective only against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles, so RS-24 Yars can't be taken out by it. THAAD is a sophisticated point defense system meant to protect vital military assets like air bases. It uses a hit-to-kill approach, that is the missile carries no warhead but relies on the kinetic energy of impact to destroy the incoming missile. The system has an operational range of around 200 kilometers with a speed of 8.24 Mach, but THAAD is designed to shoot down short, medium and intermediate range ballistic missiles 
in their terminal phase. So same as Aegis, it's not suited for tackling an ICBM like RS-24 Yars. The Patriot Advanced Capability 3 Pack 3 is a significant upgrade to the original system and dedicated almost entirely to the anti-ballistic missile mission. It has a range of 20 to 30 kilometers. It's designed as a point defense system. Patriot is designed to intercept short-range missiles and hence can't be used against an RS-24 Yars. US mainland is also protected by ground-based mid-course defense GMD. GMD is the United States anti-ballistic missile defense system for intercepting incoming warheads in space during the mid-course phase of ballistic trajectory flight. It uses sensors on land, at sea and in space to track incoming missile including ICBM and deploys long-range interceptors to kill them. The U.S. military in May last year conducted a successful first-ever missile defense test involving a simulated attack by an intercontinental ballistic missile. This is the best bet for the U.S. when it comes to intercepting the RS-24 Yars. But it must be noted that the system had a fair share of failures even in the test setup. It's highly unlikely that it can reliably intercept a barrage of RS-24 Yars deploying MIRV and decoys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.